Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Patricia Shulkoff, and she is one of the art teachers at Hilton Head High School. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. So we're going to talk about a program that is the um, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. And you kind of have a little bit of a personal history with this. Tell us a little bit about um, when you were younger and participating in this program. Um, yeah, I was encouraged from pretty much middle school on to um, submit artworks and um, I was lucky enough to attain a few gold and silver keys as well as um, get a national gold medal, um, which was pretty awesome. They don't, there's, I think I calculated one year like 0.7% of all the entries like actually like place at nationals. So it's quite the, the um, competition and then on an average every year they get anywhere from 300 to 350,000 entries. Um, now that that's seven, that's cumulative, that's seven through 12. And then um, also currently there are nine categories that include you know everything from drawing and painting photography to sculpture to multimedia to um you know even video excerpts kind of thing so and jewelry that kind of stuff like when i was doing it in the 80s of course you know there weren't quite that many categories <laughs> right, right, right. but there were a significant amount you know you had your fashion you had your fabrics your um fiber arts that kind of stuff as well so yeah. Well, congratulations to you for your awards in, uh, in the past. That's quite impressive. And that's a huge number of entries. I mean, who would have thought that that would be so much um, that gets entered every year? And so let's now fast forward to your students and kind of tell us about how students across the Beaufort County School District can get involved in this program. Um, it's a really awesome program. It's actually the oldest um, running recognition for young artists um, uh, in, in, well, I don't know if I want to say in the world. I believe in the world, but the country for sure. For sure. And, it's, it's big. Um, it's a big one. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's recognized everybody from Capote to um, Andy Warhol to Annie Leibovitz, you know, big name um, artists, really anybody who um, has had a name in the arts, whether it's uh, writing or um visual arts has been recognized. And the nice thing about it is um, you don't necessarily need a teacher to enter. Okay. Um, a lot of people think you need to have like align it to a teacher. Of course, there are, you know, benefits if you do. Um, meaning like for, you know, school and stuff, but you could be a homeschool student and still enter is what I'm getting at. Right. Um, and then, you know, if it does align to a teacher, you put a whole bunch of stuff into an account and everything from survey questions to demographic stuff to, um, you know, what kind of art media it is and all that kind of stuff. And then you align to the teacher um, if you, you know, are guided by a teacher that best aligns with that. Um, but the entry process usually starts in September, although, you know, the surplus of images probably don't get in there till, you know, a couple weeks or right before the due date. Because um, at least us with visual arts, we like to, you know, hold out till we have the best possible entries that we have. And right. it being such a huge competition, you know, we're, we're pretty selective. Like, you know, out of a class of, say, 28 in my photography class, I think I selected maybe maybe three, four students tops to enter artworks. And um, I had two, two freshmen enter and one of the two actually got recognized regionally. So it's, you know, you really got to sort of pick and choose and analyze and figure out which one's going to, you know, possibly go there. <laughs> right. 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 We've got, um, we've got about 15 seconds left. So if somebody is interested in more information, how do they get it? Um, basically, you just go to Scholastic Art and Writing Awards and you Google it and it says about the history of the program and you do go from there go from and wait there. for next year to enter your stuff. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here to share about that program. We appreciate it. Thank you. After a quick break, we're going to learn about a thrift store with a mission. Don't go away.